I was tagged in a video on Facebook tonight from a um, a recovery pro- podcast called Black Sheep Recovery. And I, I'm not going to say that I had forgotten about this, but I hadn't thought about it in a while. And I was tagged in. Let me tell you what happened. This I, I think this was 2019. Th- 2019. I'm in my room. And, uh, or in my living room, and, and I don't even remember what time it was, but I felt like the Holy Spirit said, Hey, I need you to text this guy named Robbie. And I didn't have, I didn't really even know Robbie, but I knew his name, and I, uh, you know, had met him a couple of times, but I, I mean, we didn't hang out, I didn't really know him, but I knew people that did. So anyway, I didn't have his number, so I got on Facebook Messenger, found him, and just texted, Hey, look, dude, I know you're not in a good place, and I know the Lord loves, and I'm just, when I, When the Lord calls me to do something like that, I just let my fingers do the walking. So we're sitting in there, and I just, I said, you know what, man, this is it. I done lost my son again. I done lost my church. So I pulled up a shot of fentanyl, Mm -hmm. and I was going out. Like, that was it. And my phone goes off. With a blocker? Like a... This guy snaps all the way out, takes all my drugs at like almost gunpoint. Like, yeah. you got to go. You're the feds. It's Kim Gray McCray. I don't even know what I texted. Um, I don't even read it when it's over. I just send it. So, and pray. God, I don't know what you're doing, but but I'm, I'm going to be obedient in this. And, and so, I find out um, he text me back and uh, not that day, I don't think it was that day Um, and he said I was about to put, take myself out. He he was in a I guess a drug house that had cell phone blockers on it and I don't even know what a cell phone blocker is. I know her. From the point. Yeah. uh, Now hold on, let me me clarify something. So this this guy had a cell phone blocker set up. Like you had no service. When you walk in his house, there was no service. So, I mean, that's literally what a cell phone blocker does. It blocks out. So you can't get phone You can't get Wi-Fi. You can't nothing. So this is is what what I like, God winks, and like uh, divine intervention to keep you from doing that. I don't believe in coincidences, but I believe in christ Mm -hmm. Well, Yeah, that that phone call was from Jesus. That (laughs) phone call was from Jesus. No, it was a message, and it said, look, brother, I don't know where you are right now, but (sighs) I know you're in a dark place. Wow. Just know that you're always loved, and we we are praying for you, and Mm -hmm. so... Bro, she I got saved chills. my life, but almost got me killed. Old, <laughs> you know, old Twinkie dude over here, he's ready to skin me down. He, had, he was in this place. He had lost everything again. He'd been through um, recovery treatment and um, had been sober for a while and then got back into um, uh, old ways, addictions, and um, so he didn't realize how loved he was. He had no idea how loved he was. Anyway, so he's, there's cell phone blockers, and, and, and I text, and it goes through, not because it was me, but because it was Jesus, and he wanted to get the message to Robbie, and so as this shot of fentanyl is about to go in his arm, um, they take all of his drugs and throw him out. It's a wonder he said they didn't kill him. This is on Facebook tonight. <laughs> this is why I believe in miracles, because we are yielded vessels. And I love this story because it always points back to Jesus. doesn't point to Kim. It points to, I was a yielded vessel. The Lord said, do this. And I was obedient. And this was the miracle that came out of it. This guy's still alive. Um, he, he, he gets to tell this story. And um, I get to tell the story too. There's not a bigger miracle than somebody's about to die. And the Lord intervenes with a text from somebody to say, I see you. I know it's dark but I love you. That, my friends, is Jesus. Um, The podcast is, again, it's on Facebook, Black Sheep Recovery, if you want to watch it. Um, It's his story, and it's, 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 it's a good story. Any story is a good story that ends up with the person with us loving Jesus, because we know he loves us, but when it ends up with us loving Jesus, there's not a better story than that.